Right, so when you're mad, take two. Hi, I'm Steve from 1233D. Today we shall be doing an unboxing of this very printer that Anycubic very kindly put on a plane and flew straight over to the good old UK for us to do an unboxing and review. It is the Photon Mono M7 Pro. Let's dive right in. So I'm just trying to see which way which way is up and which way is down. Get rid of the box. It's a quite weighty piece of equipment. Pull it off. So, build plate. Nice laser etching for quality build plate addition, guys. More foam. Okay. Interesting. So I've never seen this printer before, by the way, as you can tell. Very interesting addition to the VAT. Box of goodies, more foam, and the most crucial part, the printer. Right, so I shall lay everything out. So in the bag, just to be as to be a leveling paper card. I think we have a screen protector. Probes, this plugs in this side via a USB socket. Probes sit into the VAT. This will be the actual auto fill and empty. So let's see if we can find some instructions. UK power lead, a very, very fancy wancy bottle top lid for the pump. Air purifier, high quality scraper. These are very good scrapers. The blade is extremely sharp. Ideal for getting your prints off the build plate. Mask, resin filters for filtering your resin back into the bottle so you don't get no nasty bits of support material or print failures going back into your fresh clean bottle. Another quality card, bag of goodies, which contains Wi-Fi antenna, VAT screw to secure the VAT to the machine, USB, rubber gloves. It says screen protector accessory, so this be an IPA wipe to wipe the screen before we apply the screen protector. Plastic scraper. I always use this for scraping the resin out of the vat. I always use that one. Never use the metal one. A selection of Allen keys. An extremely big Allen key. There's a couple of extra screws in here. So I shall have a quick glance through the manual. I've installed the screen protector. Pretty much the same as your mobile phone screen protector. They give you a little pack. Wipe the screen down after you've removed the protective film. With an IPA wipe, use a little lint free cloth to then clean it off. Apply your screen protector, peel the film off, you're golden. Flip the power on. Have I flipped the power on? We have no power. Why do we have no power? Chris, we have a dead printer. Oh, we have power. Okay, so just powered on the printer. I shall now wait for it to boot up. So, English, press the arrow for next. Global, press the arrow for next. Initial setup on first launch, start. Now it's telling us, install the print platform. So we take the platform, slide it on, use the big knob on the top to lock it into place. Install the resin vat. Okay, we shall do what it says. Don't forget to remove the protective film from the bottom of the vat. They've opted for ACF, so quick release. You don't want to touch the film really, no. You don't want fingerprints on it. Keep it as, as clean as possible. So they gave us the screws to secure the vat with. It locks into place, self-locating. There is a nice spout to empty the resin on the corner. You always want to make sure that you never, ever, ever forget this step because otherwise you're going to have a terrible time. So if you forget to put these screws in to secure the vat to the actual printer, what will happen is your vat will then stick to your build plate, pull away from the machine, will be too heavy to be held on the build plate, will proceed to fall and smash your screen to tiny little, little bitty pieces. So that's snugged down. Press the next. Now it's saying, pour resin. Pour in your resin, or about to pour your resin. You need to give it a really, really good shake. You want to make sure it's well mixed. PPE. Okay, so we've got a very clear maximum line marked on there. Just going to put enough resin in, maybe halfway. It is quite a big, a big vat. I don't really think you would have much trouble in getting a kilogram of resin in the vat, to be fair. I've literally half filled it and I can feel straight away I've used half a half a kilogram so nice size vat get rid of those so we've poured the resin we'll click next wi-fi connection so on the back of the machine wi-fi aerial literally you just screw that into place if you want to connect to wi-fi all good on this instance we'll just click next 
download the app, scan the QR code, you can download the Anycubic app so you can send files via the app. I'm not 100% how this works as yet, I've not really had much time to play with it, but it is something that we'll do later on the in-depth review. Configuration completed. Start. Okay, UI. So we have on here, material status. So it's given us a temperature range, which is interesting. Current temperature, it says 20, 20.35 20 degrees C. We'll just press on here. So that basically the arrow on the box just collapses the menu. It's given me a thing that the appears to be showing me that two parts are connected. However, the resin filler isn't connected. So we'll go back. I shall have a look in the local empty USB cloud. Then we've got settings. So here we've got move the Z, exposure, cleaning, advanced. So there are all your basic printer settings. Then obviously you've got other functions. So Z axis zero point and leveling test. And then we can manually jog by 0 0.1, one millimeter, 10 millimeter or 50 millimeter increments up or down. And there's a big stop button in the middle. Next we have printer logs, device, which is giving us all the information about the printer, the version, which will be the firmware version, system version, so on, and then settings. So we've got the, the Wi-Fi settings, the Anycubic app. So I guess the next thing to do, really, pop in the USB, see if we've got a file, and see what happens. USB, oh yes. Right, so we've got a basic exposure test. High speed, I have no idea what that is. It looks like some really fancy type candlestick holder. We shall... Load a file and be back shortly to show you show you the results. Okay, so as I've already said in the video, I have limited knowledge on the, the features and functions of this printer because any cubic have been very sparse in their information. So I've loaded up a file straight from the USB stick. I've clicked Smart Print because I didn't know what the difference between Smart and Standard was. And I thought I'd go all out and go Smart. Needless to say, the machine has now proceeded to heat the resin, as it states here, heating. But on top of that, it is very cleverly, and I do not know how this magical witchcraft is working, circulating the resin around the vat so that all the resin is heated consistently and equally across the whole volume. Amazing. Test print, done. We literally selected a file from the, the USB stick. I'll be perfectly honest, I've used standard resin so there's nothing fancy about the resin that i've used in this machine i've not even bothered to do any calibrations or exposure to tests or anything like that i've literally put the resin in the vat i've selected a test file which gave me three options standard fast and rapid so i selected the fast profile so this machine will print even quicker than what i've just printed this object total time taken this isn't true print time because 10 minutes of this was probably the machine heating the resin so effective print time half an hour which i think is pretty darn impressive so i'm going to remove the the print from the plate get it washed up and give you guys a close-up but overall before washing i see nothing nothing at all wrong with the quality of this print cleaned up the the test print that we've done my only criticism is the way that the model was supported there's a lot of scarring on the on the base of this print but all the supports have come off and overall the print quality and the speed at the, which this this printed was amazing half an hour 30 minutes the detail we'll put a close-up of this in the in the video for the cutouts and everything else everything is perfectly formed perfectly exposed the detail is yeah amazing in a word it's great we'll obviously do some more test prints and slice our own files and whatever else when we do the in-depth deep dive review into the machine but just as a basic overview the build quality as anybody that's familiar with any cubic is very good you've got dual linear rails ball driven lead screw you've got this gizmo here which albeit may make it a little bit awkward when you come to cleaning the vat and changing your FVP and stuff. But the added benefits it has given you, it's probably worth it. I mean, the stepper motor that's in there is what agitates the vat. That does two things. One, it aerates all the bubbles out of the resin, so you, you, you get rid of all them. 
and it also mixes the resin so while it's heating it's basically mixing constantly so everything's heated uniformly we haven't yet tried out the the auto fill and the empty cycle function again we'll go more into this in the deep dive review and also this can also be swapped out for the uh, any cubic they call it air pure which is basically an active carbon filter that's powered via usb that plugs into the back of the machine the ui perfect size very responsive loads and loads of information on there available for you to to look at and again we'll go into everything in a lot more detail in the deep dive review don't forget to like and subscribe if you've got any questions regarding this machine drop us a, a question in the comments below we'll get back to you as soon as possible and please make sure that you check out 1233d where this machine will be available in the very near future i hope you've enjoyed this video Goodbye for now. As always, we aim to have the most competitive 3D printer prices in the UK. If you see any of our printers being sold by a mainstream UK retailer for less, please drop us an email using the link in the description and we will do our very best to beat their price.